and uh, we're welcoming today Emmanuel Viom. Viom, great Viom. job. Good. Thank you. Hi, okay, Megan. so first off, why don't you tell us a little bit about this story? Well, it's an amazing story. The guy is in lockdown. He can move only his eyes leads. And he is dictating a full book with this. And it's an amazing story of resilience. So you can see it at the opera now with very accessible music, great music, fantastic visuals, and you can follow the whole story with the subtitles. It's, it's a great show, we're very excited, and it's a world premiere. Here's the interesting dichotomy, right? Is that you have this story based on someone who can't sing, can't speak, and yet you're in opera, which is singing and loud music and visuals. How did you connect those stories? How is the story presented? So the composer and the librettist worked very hard on this. So it's all happening in his mind. So you see the story through what he is seeing from his past and so on, but also the way people react to what's going on. And ultimately, it's about his imagination. It's about his soul. It's about what he's projecting. And music can do this in no other way. Absolutely. So what is the significance of the title here? Well, the diving bell is this thing you're totally locked in, and the butterfly can go anywhere. So the idea is we, are all, we have been locked in for quite a few years now, somehow. That's true. So that's a story of resilience. Your body is not responding, you are locked in a situation, but through imagination, through art, through your love for life and others, you can fly out. You know what I love about this is we were talking beforehand and obviously opera can seem a little, okay, I've never been to the opera before, you know, what do I wear and what, what is this art form? This is an accessible way that maybe if you haven't been before you can go, yet it still feels deep. It's a very modern story. It's a story everybody can relate to. The visuals are very, very strong. Uh, and, and the music is easy music. It's great music, but it's music people who are not necessarily classical music lovers can relate to and really relate to. So, I mean, we love traditional opera, but people can be a little intimidated. And the idea here is to provide to Dallas audiences and the world audiences a story that they can connect to and that maybe will lead them to see other traditional opera. You can come in your jeans, you can come in your tuxedos, it's a great event. And so for you all at the opera, I mean, what was it like to have a story and then be able to present it for the first time? You know, it's not like it's been done a million times before. So, yes. So we have at our disposal, you know, so many wonderful operas, but our job is also to create new operas. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a little intimidating, but it's very exciting too. Yes. So the process, you know, you, you have this idea and then through a work of many years, you just interact with the composer, with the librettist, with the performers, and now we are at the last, last stages, and we know we have a masterpiece, and we know we have a great show. Emmanuel, thank you for coming. Thank you. All right, so the Dallas Opera is going to present four performances of The Diving Bell and the Butterfly starting Friday at the Windspear Opera House. You could check out dallasopera.org for ticket information and be a part of a world premiere.